Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we have a problem. Take a look at the bottom left on my account right now. You're gonna notice the super magical chest I've been holding onto for nine months is gone. Nine months is enough time to have a baby and it's gone. And you know what I think happened? I think Supercell stole it from me. I don't know why they did it. I didn't open the chest. I tweeted immediately when it happened. I didn't see what was inside of it. I didn't see if I got anything good. It was gone in the blink of an eye. Supercell, listen, I know I've talked about how over-level Royal Giants are a problem. I know, you know, I thought the first tournament system was terrible, which it was, but there's no reason to delete my super magical chest from my account. I did not deserve that. And I expect a handwritten apology in the comment section below. Supercell, I'm watching you. Watch yourself. <sighs> I mean, they took my baby from me. I know I'm not mature enough to have a baby, but they took my baby from me. And the only way that I can recuperate is by getting into a couple of battles. Supercell, I hate you. So here we go with battle number one against VNC Chai P-H-E-O. And uh, he's playing a Valkyrie. I actually haven't seen an offensive Valkyrie in a while. Normally people play this with the graveyard, but that's sort of just gonna do nothing. He's got a really crazy Goblin Barrel. Guess what? That's gonna go straight towards my King Tower and activate that for a crazy positive Elixir trade. And this game is already looking amazing. I don't really know what else I have to say about it. I'm gonna go ahead and play this right here and then play my graveyard and hopefully we can get some good moves. Check out the bowler, it's gonna shove the wizard back. The wizard's gonna die from the poison. And now with my bowler walking forward, the bowler's gonna end up doing damage to that tower. I've got a baby dragon to clean up these goblins and then hopefully splash some damage back onto him. Full health baby dragon has to be accounted for and he's gonna play the hog rider to try to counter it. Interesting play, the baby dragon's still gonna have some health though, plus the king tower helping out. And overall, this has been a perfect start to the game. We have our king tower activated and uh, his goblin barrels are gonna be way less effective now that we've made that a thing. All right, let's go and go again. I've got my knight in a second. Uh, I guess I'll play my knight. I should have played my bowler though, to be honest, but still we're gonna make a nice little trade right there. Knight's gonna start doing work. I'm gonna go ahead and play my poison and then my graveyard immediately afterwards. The knight's gonna start tanking and it's gonna do the best that it can, but what am I gonna do about this wizard? All right, this wizard, we can play a baby dragon onto. So the baby dragon will kill the wizard. And then by the time the Valkyrie's done over there, the baby dragon should retarget to the Valkyrie. Oh, it just barely got in tower range. That's a little bit disappointing, but still so much damage. Someone called the cops over there on that Valkyrie placement, but let's just go ahead and keep going. 1,590 HP left. I've got a bowler over here. He's got so much over here. What in the world is this push? You guys have a better idea than me. He's gonna do so much damage with that push. Goblins plus Goblin Barrel. If I only had my Electro Wizard, I could have done so much damage, but now he has to counter that bowler or the bowler's gonna destroy that side. The bowler's gonna take on this, uh, this uh, knight right here. I'm actually gonna tornado everything together. Wait, no, that didn't work. That did not work at all. We're gonna take a bunch of damage. Oh, he wasted arrows though, but so we can go ahead and just play our bowler right here. There goes a goblin barrel. Let's play our skeletons to clean that up. Bowler's gonna turn around and attack those goblins, but we're just missing on our goblin barrel placements. And I haven't even played my, uh, I haven't even played my electro wizard yet, really. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna suck everything together in a moment. Make sure that we're both just doing crazy splash damage. That's what his Valkyrie's for. He's trying to get like crazy amount of splash damage while doing what he's doing. Skeleton's going down onto this goblin barrel, but we're still taking so much damage right now. Graveyard has to go down right now. Graveyard's down. The wizard's gonna get shoved backwards. The tower's locking onto these skeletons. Are we about to get served right here? This deck was crazy. I thought he had no chance of being able to beat us. 876 HP left. And this really has to be our last stand. Let's get ready. Here goes our Electro Wizard. Here goes our Baby Dragon. We need the Tornado right now. Tornado's gonna bring everything together, but he does have this Goblin Barrel. Goblin Barrel's going down. My Skeletons are doing the best job that he can. Does he have direct damage? That could be the end of the game. Poison Spell's going down. The Wizard, though, is gonna try the best it can to defend. The Poison Spell's working on the tower. Baby Dragon, Electro Wizard, Hog Rider. Get this Hog Rider out of my face. Get the Hog Rider out of my face. Electro Wizard, please. Electro Wizard, please. Oh, we just barely defended against that Electro Wizard. Someone play a graveyard before I die. Drag this over here. Drag these over here. Drag these over here. Oh, GG. Well played against VNC Chai Pio. Woo. That was, that was a stressful battle. I don't know what's going on outside right now. They didn't even give me a super magical chest supercell, really. 
the cops are going to Supercell HQ right now. That's all I got to say. Let's get into battle number two. And uh, hopefully it's a little bit less hectic than that one. Goblin Barrel Goblin Push. I'd never seen that before. If I just played my Electro Wizard, I would have crushed it right now. But I did just get off a plane uh, like two hours before posting this video. So give me a little bit of a slack right there. Give me a little slack right there. All right, Baby Dragon Start. He's going to play a Lava Hound. So we have to go ultra aggressive right now to try to defend against this. And since, since we already played our Baby Dragon, which is a good defensive card for us, here goes his push. He's got the Witch. Let's go ahead and poison that Witch and her little skeleton down. That's going to be tower number one. Number one for the game there's absolutely no way he can defend against this push and uh, now it's all about how we want to defend right here i guess we could do electro wizard on top of everything and hopefully this electro wizard can help clean up the baby dragon but to be honest i think this tower is probably dead as well um i'm gonna suck everything together and maybe with the skeletons we can do something no we're just losing this tower straight up Mega Minion's doing too much work. He's got those little fire spirits. So whatever. That's going to be the end of that. I played that really weirdly defending that Lava Hound. But if he keeps going so aggressively, we'll still have a nice little chance to uh, defend against whatever he does. If he plays another, okay, he's going to play the Mini P.E.K.K.A. I could have played the Bowler for a better trade, but not the end of the world. That's going to be able to take out the Mini P.E.K.K.A. with ease. And how do we want to do this? All right, I'm going to use... Okay, wait. No, never mind. He's doing this. Let's do this. Baby Dragon plus this. Let's go. Let's go. Baby Dragon's going down. Knight's going down. Everything's over here. This Witch isn't really going to do too much work. It's like focusing on the Knight instead of something else. So we're going to get a ridiculous amount of damage over here. But at what cost? He's got his... He's got his his uh, Witch right here. So we really have to find a way to defend against it. I've got this Bowler, which will tank for a decent amount of time. But still not exactly what I wanted. Electro Wizard's going to go down. That's going to shock whatever he's got going on back there. But still... I'm just not defending very well against these pushes, and because of it, he is just doing so much damage right now. Let's use our poison spell. I've got my skeletons to deal with this mini P.E.K.K.A. Let's make sure we're taking advantage of those. Mini P.E.K.K.A. going down now. There goes the split with all of his stuff. Knight's going to go down just in case that mini P.E.K.K.A. got close, but we defended our tower. That is what I was hoping for. We defended our tower, but we have one more opportunity to really get things going. And let's go ahead and try that with the bowler and then the graveyard. Here comes the bowler graveyard. That should work on this tower pretty well. What is he going to do? He, bowler, do something. Do anything, bowler. Bowler is going to finally go ahead and go to that other tower. That's going to be tower number one for us. But what cost will it be at? He has so many troops over there. So many troops that what I'm going to do is I'm going to suck everything together right here with the poison spell. Trying to hold on to everything that we've got. This poison spell is going to be crucial. The knight's going to help out. The poison's going to break out. And with the baby dragon, he's dropping another poison spell. This one is truly going to come down to the wire. The witch is just locked on over here. I'm going to suck everything together. Get this stuff away from my king tower. Get it away from my arena towers. Get it ready away from anything that you have. One second. Oh, victory. Victory. GG well played against Ardalan. Wow. That was chaos if you've ever seen it. 26 trophies and again, no super magical chest from Supercell. Huh. Huh. There better be a long apology letter in the comment section below. It better be a long one. Well, let's go ahead and go to battle number three. And this has to be the one where we get a super magical chest. It has to be. It just has to be the one. I don't see any other way that this next battle will not give me a super magical chest. You know what? If this next battle that I win does not give me a super magical chest, I will let you guys choose any card in Clash Royale and I will get it shaved into the back of my head. Any card, any card in Clash Royale, I will get it shaved in the back of my head. We'll do a poll, we'll do a vote because I'm so confident that this next card will be a super magical chest. This next chest will be, excuse me. That I'll do a vote and I'll just shave, I'll shave whatever you guys want in the back of my head. That's a promise. That is a promise right now. This next battle is for all the marbles. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. Let's do our bowler in the back. Nova, what you got? You got a hog rider. Well played. Okay, let's do our skeletons and play something else. Uh, poison spell isn't the end of the world. Obviously not the best thing for us. We're going to take a bunch of damage, but we can follow up momentarily. Let's do this. I just am outcycled for my... Yeah, this, what stinks is, oh wow, are you serious? He's gonna play that, okay. That is quite the play right there. Let's do our knight. I guess we already used our one elixir skeleton, so we're gonna have to sort of deal with this P.E.K.K.A. right here, but eventually we'll get some of our stuff across, but okay. Archers are gonna deal with the Electro Wizard, blah, 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 blah. 
And eventually the archers are even going to live. Okay. Well, I need to win a battle in order to get a chest. So let's keep that in mind, guys. I do have my tornado. I can activate the king tower if I want in a moment with this hog rider. Let's go ahead and get ready momentarily right here. I'm actually going to have to suck it a little bit early. The fire spirit still got to my tower. Are you joking me? Okay. Well, this, this defensive P.E.K.K.A. is actually pretty brutal. I got to give this guy respect for playing the defensive P.E.K.K.A. Let's go ahead and go with the Baby Dragon in a moment. Baby Dragon is down. Ooh, that's going to be good for us. Graveyard's going down. Bowler, bowler's going down. This P.E.K.K.A. is going to do the best it can against our Bowler. Hopefully, the P.E.K.K.A. would have been distracted by our Skeletons, but instead, he has ASAP to deal with what we're playing. Wow. Got to give respect to this dude for playing the P.E.K.K.A. deck because I had no idea that it was viable whatsoever. He must have a massive Elixir lead right now. So let's, uh, let's keep that in mind. And, oh, I need everything away from my Electro Wizard. I need him alive for at least a little bit longer. And uh, meanwhile, on the other side, of course, he is going to absolutely dominate. And uh, yeah, wait, why is my tower attacking the Baby Dragon, by the way? Pekka, please! No! Pekka! Just one hit too late. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, Is he going to freeze me? If he freezes me... No, he's not going to freeze me. Let's go ahead and go right here at the graveyard. He's going to play another P.E.K.K.A. Let's use our poison. Graveyard, please distract this P.E.K.K.A. That's what we needed. The graveyard's distracting the P.E.K.K.A. right now. The baby dragon's doing work against the tower. We're at least getting a little bit of damage onto this tower. It's down to 1173. Obviously, he's just going to take us out on the other side, so I'm not really too worried right there. Bowler's going to work on these archers. We're looking in a better position right now, but still, this is going to be a little bit brutal. Zap's going to go down there. Let's play our skeletons. Let's go ahead and play our electro wizard. Everything's going down here, and finally, Let's go for the big boy push. Here it goes. Graveyard's going down right now. This has to be the push that ends up winning us the game. Poison spell's going to go down, trying to stop our troops. Graveyard's going down. Poison plus the graveyard has to be what we use to win. The tower's getting lower and lower. Someone take this P.E.K.K.A. away from the tower. Okay. That's going to be the end of the battle. GG. Well played against this guy from Nova. Okay. Next battle. Next battle's going to be the one that ends up deciding the chest. The next battle is the one is for all the marbles. I'm telling you, the next one's a super magical chest. I, I don't know what else to say. It's gonna be a super magical chest or else I'll shave whatever card you guys want in the back of my head. I don't care, because this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it right here. It's gonna be a super magical chest. I'm, I'm destined inside of this video to get a super magical chest. At least, I hope. All right, we'll continue with the final battle after this quick commercial break. Here it is, final battle against Platano Power RD. This is the battle we've been waiting for. Let's get ready with our knight. I don't have the graveyard. He has a Lava Hound, fantastic. How do we want to deal? We've got the Electro Wizard, we've got the Baby Dragon, we got the Tornado, so it looks like we're just gonna have to do some sort of weird tornado push and uh, put everything together. Okay, so there goes that. I'll get ready with my Baby Dragon momentarily. Um, he could have a Lightning Spell, which would be pretty deadly. Obviously, I don't want to deal with that, but it could happen. And as everything starts pouring out, he's actually not going to do anything whatsoever. So we're just going to go ahead and chill right here. Play my skeletons on this side to help out with his skeleton army. And meanwhile, he's going to go aggressive over here. You know what? Let's go. I'm wasting so much elixir right now. Bowler's going down over here. Let's go ahead and get ready in a moment with our graveyard. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Why am I playing like this? Why am I playing like this? Okay. Let's get ready here with the tornado. And then let's use our Electro Wizard to stop that in its tracks. The Balloon did take aggro, which is super helpful, so that Balloon's going to die. But all in all, still a pretty crazy start to the game. And we missed a big opportunity right there. I'm just not... Like, once I get off airplanes, I play like an absolute madman. And this is the case right there. But since he's going aggressive with that Lava Hound, let's go ahead and use our Knights. Let's go ahead and use our Graveyard. And even with the Skeleton Army, we're going to have so many Skeletons on his tower that hopefully we're able to make some hay out of this push. Okay, not terrible. We got that tower down pretty decently to 2100. Let's go ahead and get ready with our Baby Dragon in a moment. Once again, Baby Dragon will be the key against his little Lava Hound right here. He's going to play this Mega Minion, so let's use our Skeletons to distract the Mega Minion. And then we'll use our Electro Wizard to distract everything else. And hopefully this is going to be what we need to uh, sort of keep stuff together. All right, here we go. Lots of fire spirits out on the field. Mega Minion's going to die. Our tower is at 2,428, so not really the end of the world once again. But let's go for, let's go for this. He can't counter us. He can't counter our bowler with the skeleton army. He's going to play his minions, and I'm actually going to go ahead and suck these minions all the way over here. Get those minions away from my bowler. 
Okay, well, he still ended up doing a pretty decent job right there. He's gonna have only a couple hundred HP left. That's gonna be within poison spell range. But now we don't have our tornado. That's the thing. We're cycling to our tornado so fast, but I don't think it's really gonna be able to do much. Uh, tornado, please. Tornado, get everything away from our tower. The balloon, everything else just really needs to die. We actually protected the tower right there. That was a really nice little play. However, we do have to defend this right here. And we have to cycle so fast to everything else that we have. Let's get ready with our skeletons over here. I've got the knight in a moment. The lava hound by itself won't be enough, enough damage. We've got nine seconds left on the clock. Bring everything over here. 348 damage left. Does he have the damage to get it done? Poison spell. GG, well played against Plantano Power RG. Here comes that super magical chest, baby. Let's go! Wait. That's... That's... That's not a super magical chest. I mean, it's a legendary chest. Does that count? Alright, guys. Um... Well, we got 29 trophies in the legendary chest. Yippee. I'm going to figure this out on how I'm going to do this, but I'm a man of my word. I'm going to make a poll for you guys in the next video or two, and I'm going to let you guys choose which card I get shaved into my head. Honestly, that legendary chest was so close. So close to being a super magical chest. But I'm going to pick a card, and if you guys pick some sort of troll card, if you shave an expo or a mortar or a rocket in the back of my head, I will never forgive you guys. More details coming out on that soon. I should just delete this video. I will see you guys later. You don't even get a piece out. I'm out.